It's a huge honor to share this bass with Dave Speranza because I love his playing and this is, I've never played a concert with two bass players. This is awesome. <laughs> I'm just getting a lesson, man. Oh, awesome. come on, man. Come on. Uh, we're going to play some more tunes. What should we play? Uh, more, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going to do some more Bach. We're going to do two more Bach inventions. Uh, this is B minor and G major. And then we're going to play an original tune that we wrote called Weather Vane. Um, so one thing that we, we haven't talked about, but you probably have been able to tell just from the sound of some of our tunes, Tessa is from Kentucky, and you played mandolin before you played violin, yeah? And Tessa's dad is an awesome uh, banjo player, and so she grew up you know, fiddling and then sort of got into classical music later. Uh, so this tune we actually wrote at her parents' house. Uh, they have this beautiful weather vane outside of their house in Kentucky. And, uh, and it makes a cool little like humming noise when it changes directions. And so that inspired this tune. Uh, so yeah, this will be B minor, G major, and then our original weather rain. because she has way better ears than me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
this is my favorite part of our set. It's where I get to sit down and do what I do best, which is nothing. Uh, <laughs> and, and, I, and, I, and we get to listen to uh, Tessa play a solo. So. No pressure. Um, well, let's stick with this uh, Bach theme. Um, I feel like an imposter a little bit being on this stage because um, my profession, usually, I'm except for with the exception of the six weeks that are coming up when we all have uh, no profession whatsoever. <laughs> Suddenly holidays. But I would be a classical violinist otherwise, so I'll share a little bit of that with you. Um, I will play the Preludio from Bach's um, E major partita. Uh, what is a partita, you ask, Sam? <laughs> well, let me tell you. <laughs> partita. <laughs> no, uh, Bach wrote um, a set of six um, solo violin sonatas and partitas, and the partitas in particular are a set of dances, in this case, um, French dances. So even Bach was not a stranger of being influenced by uh, folk music surrounding him. Uh, but this preludio is actually just a prelude to all of the dances. So this movement itself is not a dance, but um, is one of the most uh, resplendent pieces that I know. One of the first pieces I learned of Bach's um, extremely virtuosic, just a whirlwind of 16th notes for a few minutes in E major, but E major was the key of the heavens for Bach, so it actually has a very exalted and rejoicing feel to it. So here's his E major preludio. Thank you. 
Thanks. Thanks, y'all. Thanks so much out there. I heard that. Nice. nice. I appreciate that. Um, well, you did nothing quite well, but I might do it a little better. Uh, I want to try it out right now. <laughs> so this is my favorite part of the show, where I'm going to turn it over to Michael, the man of many, many talents. Besides being the incredible bass player he is, he's also a composer. And mark my words, if you head to Broadway in the next few years, I think he's going to have a musical out there. But just, don't go in the next few months. Just saying that. But don't go there. Yeah, you're not going to see any musicals right now. So didn't say that. Anyway, here's Michael Thurber. <laughs> I'm going to use this mic stand for this one. But it's really small, so I'm going to put it over here. So if you're at home watching this, I'll give you a soulful little gander in the eye when I lean over here to sing into it. This is one of my favorite tunes of all time. I've been playing this song since I was like 14 years old in bar bands in the Midwest, which is how I started playing music. Um, and this is like one of my favorite songs ever. And you'll, you'll know what it is. And if you don't, um, that's okay. I'm still not going to say the name of it. Blackbird is singing in the dead of night. You take these broken wings and learn to fly all your life. You were only waiting for this moment to arrive. The blackbird is singing in the dead of night. broken wings and learn to fly Live all your life you were only waiting for this moment to arise and blackbird fly and blackbird fly singing in the dead of night you take these sunken eyes and learn to see all your life you were only waiting for this moment to be free and black bird fly and black bird fly
going to hand it back over to Sam for another amazing set. It's Sam Ryder and the, 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 the washed, the clean human hands, <laughs> the non-handshaking human hands. <laughs> So we're going to take it back, back in time again, uh, back, uh, I, uh, I guess I've been coming at, um, it's, this is a really cool program because it's like these guys are, are coming at American folk music or just folk music in general from a classical per perspective and a lot of my music is kind of incorporating elements of classical music from more of a folk perspective and that's what we're going to do for you now. Um, this is our our most recent um, addition to the Human Hands repertoire. Um, I've been working with uh, a teacher, like I said, in New York, a great guy named Ken Briggs. I highly recommend everybody study with him if he's listening out there right now. Um, and uh, we, we worked on this piece that's um, something called a trio sonata, which is a really old um, form of music. It's different than a sonata. It's um, basically a suite of miniature pieces also inspired by folk dances like Tessa was talking about um, or inspired by the dances of the day rather um, minuets and waltzes and that kind of thing um, and I think Ken gave me this assignment because it was probably the easiest possible thing that I could work on writing for a, the group so but um, the piece that I've written um, takes the idea of a collection of dances and uses American folk music idioms in new ways to explore that. So we're going to play that for you now. The first, it's three movements. The first movement is a reel, the second movement is a jig, and the third movement um, is a breakdown. Now the reel um, is for mandolin and violin and accordion, and it has four voices. You're going to hear this melody that goes like this. And we're going to each play it in the different um, voices of the group. So Dom and Tatiana will play it, and I'm going to play it in both my right hand and my left hand on the accordion. And then when, when we're not playing that melody, the instruments will be playing counterpoint to that melody. Um, the second movement is this jig. Most jigs are in 6-8, and you count them carrots and cabbages, carrots and cabbages, carrots and cabbages. But this jig is in 13-8, and so we're going to count it Carrots and cabbages, fish and chips and vinegar. Everybody? Carrots and cabbages, fish and chips and vinegar. Carrots and cabbages, fish and chips and vinegar. It feels really good once you get it. And then uh, the, the final movement is a breakdown, which is a, basically a fast tune in 4-4. Four, four, and um, you're going to hear this short melody again that sounds like this. <laughs> It's going to be passed around between all the different instruments. There's going to be theme and variations, improvisation, and then at the end we're going to play it in canon, which means that we're all going to play it at the same time, but we're going to start at different points in the melody. So this is the trio sonata, and I hope you enjoy.
That's Tatiana Hargraves there on the fiddle, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's see. So, yeah. I just want to, wow. I mean, they're, they're still clapping on the live stream, so we just got to <laughs> let them applaud for a moment. One of the wonderful things about Joy and Aiken, you know, uh, Sam and the Human Hand, they're actually backed by popular demand. We had you all last year. And, um, you know, I think the very morning after um, they left, everyone called me, texted me, emailed me. They said, okay, Sam, 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 call Sam. Get him here, get him here next year. And that's one of the wonderful things about this community here in Aiken, everyone watching out there, is uh, these relationships we develop with these artists. So Sam and the whole band, thank you for coming back to Aiken. That was fantastic. And, and Mike and Tessa, so you don't know this, this is your first time here, but it's not your last. So all these people out there, they're gonna wanna see you live and in person. So we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna make that happen. And now next up, speaking of Aiken favorites, uh, we have a special treat. You may remember from the top of the show. Uh, some Aiken favorites who, when I first started coming down here to Aiken, I think you guys had already been coming down here. Uh, back then they were students at Juilliard. Now uh, they're off in the world doing wonderful things. Um, and we're so lucky to have them here tonight. Uh, they were performing, they were teaching earlier on in the week. And, you know, we're all good friends up here, so we managed to rope them into sharing a little bit more music with us tonight. So let's make a little noise out there on the live stream for Peter and Kara Dugan. Thank you, thank you. Um, wow, it's so good to be here with my better half, Aww. my bride, Kara Dugan. Uh, I first came to Aiken with my worst half, Charles Yang, uh, <laughs> my, my other, my bizarro bride. Um, we miss him, we do. But uh, no, it's, it's so great to be here. And to be honest, you know, we're honored to be doing a little cameo moment here. But we've just been enjoying the show I with know. these front row wow. seats here. You guys are just thanks it's for an a honor great to, show, guys. This to, is awesome to be here with you guys. <laughs> and um, since you know, uh, the theme is sort of this this uh, blending of of genres in, or or crossing of genres in a way that's unexpected. Uh, we thought rather than just doing uh, Schubert or Schumann, which is sort of our bread and butter as a duo, uh, we do something a little different. This is a song that we wrote. Uh, also inspired by the sort of Americana traditions, and uh, it's called How It Felt to Love You. have it set up for me. I'm, I'm so upset. to the 
bitter end But that was then And this is now And I don't know How we got here I see your face And my heart melts And I remember How it felt to love you Yes I do Sam Ryder and the Human Hands. <laughs> Maybe there'll be a surprise appearance from either M or T during this song. everybody tonight and uh, I hope all 40 of you listening out there um, have been enjoying the music and um, I hope you'll continue to enjoy the music. I know this stuff stays up online on Facebook for a lot longer than the evening, maybe in perpetuity. I'm not really sure. I guess it depends how long Facebook lasts around in this universe, um, but <laughs> it's been really um, great to play tonight because um, as I'm sure a lot of people are feeling all over the world, um, our lives are changing dramatically by the day right now, and we're just happy to be able to do the thing that we love on stage. And, um, well, it's just been great, and um, we're going to end the show tonight with a piece called The Skeleton Rag, and that's not a morbid theme. It's a happy song. You can imagine <laughs> the little <laughs> those little dancing skeletons from a Halloween movie. Um, <laughs> or The Grateful Dead, that's right. Um, but thank you so much to everybody here at Joy and Aiken, at Riley and Janice and everyone, it's, um, and to our hosts putting us up um, here. In, it's just uh, it's great to find these, these different um, towns and cities all over the world and country that we get to come to time and time and again as performers, and we feel like we become part of the family and the community here working with students, and um, it's just that's what it's all about for me and for all of the people up here on stage. So. We appreciate your support. We hope you continue to support the, um, the arts and performing arts and music and everything else. And um, yeah, that's it. So here we go. Here's the skeleton rag. <laughs> Thank you. 
Tessa Lark, Peter Dugan, Kara Dugan. How about it? Everybody, get up there. Woo! My name is Riley Mulherker. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Thank you to all of you who supported the festival this whole week. It has been a dream come true. We wish you safety. We wish you health. Wash your hands. Take care of the ones you love. And we will too. And we will see you next year for Joy and Aiken. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Good night.